Oh, there we go, we've launched. Let's just get the center of rotation correct. And whoops. Yes! <laughs> I docked the ship. Commander Jameson is not a complete lunatic. So having repaired the BBC Model B for my friend the Honey Monster, we're now going to install a very special little ROM chip from the Future Was 8-bit and we're going to have the ability to be able to read SD cards or MMC cards, whatever you want to call them. First things first, let's just make sure the BBC still works. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. Great. So now what we've got to do is remove the lid. <laughs> Nobody ever keeps screws on the lid of their beeb. And underneath the keyboard, let's just turn it off. Underneath the keyboard, we then gain access to these four ROM chip sockets. This little ROM chip is going to sit in one of these sockets. First thing we need to do is just very carefully on the edge of the table bend those chip pins so that they sit straight and they all fit nicely into the ROM chip socket. There we go, relatively straight. Now we're going to plug that into the ROM chip socket, ensuring that the orientation is correct. And you'll see a little tiny tab at the top here. It's also on the sticker from the Future Was 8-bit. So we'll pop it in this ROM chip socket just here. You might need to give it a little bit of careful coaxing and make sure that is firmly seated. So the next part of the sequence, when you turn the computer on, you will then notice that it says Smart SPI Card? question mark. So it's looking for the card and the card reader. And the card reader plugs in underneath the BBC. So underneath the BBC, there are a variety of different ports here. And the port that we need to plug our card reader into is the user port, which is this guy right here. The user port has a little tab location cut out of it and the connector has a little tab so you can't get this in the wrong way around and the idea is you literally just carefully push that into place and as you do so these little locking tabs will come over the top to secure it. The next thing you want to do is get an SD card something similar to this guy right here, a little one gig SD card, format it to FAT or FAT32, and then install one of these beeb.mmb files to it. Having successfully done that, we should be able to unplug this SD card, pop it in our card reader, clicks in place nicely, Turn on our BBC, there we go. And now up here, we have Smart SPI Basic. So at this point, we should be able to hit shift brake and boom, <laughs> look at that, fantastic. Now we're at a point where we can select different bits of software. And in this case, plenty and plenty of games. Page 3 of 65. Well, here it is. So easy to operate now with pretty much every game that you've ever wanted to play installed. And actually, I've repositioned the card reader. I've put it under here, down at the bottom here. Um, it just sort of hides it away, keeps everything nice and flush. The problem that I've discovered is one of the speaker. Let me show you. So control break gets you into the menu here. So this is what I wanted to demonstrate to you when I said that the speaker on the BBC was noisy. So this is Boulder Dash running right now. Yeah, 
and you can tell how noisy that really is. So I have got out my resistor collection <laughs> and um, I've been tinkering, experimenting and this is the solution that I've come up with. If we have a listen now, there we go, that's a much more gentle sound uh, from the BBC. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put there, that's a 100 ohm resistor, um, and I'm going to put that across the back of this, guess what, missile switch. Yes indeed. So this is like the stealth switch. So if you're playing upstairs in your bedroom and you don't want to uh, get the whole family out of bed, yeah, you don't want to disturb people in the evening, then the use of that missile switch will effectively quarter the volume. Now, note, is a 100 ohm resistor that I've put in series with an 8 ohm speaker. And when I say uh, it's going to quarter the volume, approximately that's what's going to happen. Remember, your hearing is on a logarithmic scale. It doesn't work in a linear fashion. So half the speaker power, if I were to put an 8 ohm resistor in here, that would half the speaker power. But it doesn't work like that because your hearing works on a logarithmic scale. And that's why volume controls are log volume controls, whereas uh, perhaps voltage controls and current controls on potentiometers are linear controls. Anyway, BBC's going to have a missile switch. That's all you wanted to hear, wasn't it? So we'll get the cover on it, we'll stick a dubious sticker on it, and we'll call it good. Just, I can't help myself. I'm, I'm just going through some of the, the games on here and I keep sort of stumbling across stuff that I remember. Citadel. <laughs> oh my goodness. Proper moment of nostalgia. Alright, come on then. There he is. Right, ooh, I can shoot. All oh, right, I've only got a li limited number of arrows. <laughs> oh! Ha! Look at that, fantastic. BBC computer 32K smart SPI basic missile switch on the back of it, very important. <laughs> Shift, break boots you straight into a menu with all of the software that you could want to tinker with. Thanks very much to the retro community. I was going to name names, but that genuinely, thank you very much to the retro community. So someone very kindly collected all of this software and created a little bootable file that lives on an SD card that now is permanently connected to the BBC. So whenever you turn the BBC on, it's ready to go at a moment's notice. It takes absolutely no time to load any of this software. I've also sorted out uh, the amount of noise that was coming out of the BBC speaker. It was a little bit on the loud side for me, and I didn't know how to turn it down. There may have been a combination of buttons that you could have pressed, but that would have just been a pain in the bum. So I put a missile switch on the back of it. So the default now is quiet. When you hit the missile switch, it gets loud. So you can, you can game away upstairs in your bedroom without your parents knowing that you're still on the beeb downstairs. <laughs> right, let's have a look at some games, shall we? So, I'm thinking... Uh, Electro Freddy Elite. There we go, Elite by Acorn Soft. All right. All right, here we go then, peeps. Right, let's not load a new commander. Let's go ahead and launch. Oh, there we go, we've launched. <laughs> So uh, now we, we've got rotate, we've got rotate left and right, and then we've got, oops, shoot, that's fire. Uh, right, there we go. So down, down and up are, 
are the opposite, as you'd sort of expect. Look how smooth that star field is when there's nothing big on the screen. <laughs> right, let's see if we, there's the planet. Let's see if we can find the, ah, so the space station, if I remember correctly, should probably be indicated where the location of that is on, on, the, uh, on the display below there. Although I do see, there it is, there's a space station, fantastic. Uh, right, so I'm clearly, I'm going the wrong direction. Uh, oh, there's the entrance to the space station. Right, how do I stop? Nope, space is speed up. Minus, is it minus, slow down? P, slow down, how do you slow down? Ah, there we go. Right, so. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Ah, there's the space station. Whoops, I appear to have, I appear to have done a thousand miles an hour in the wrong direction. That's sort of typical of me. Okay, so we're heading back towards the space station, and we need to figure out where the top is and where the bottom is. Okay, so that will be the bottom. There's no letterbox on it. Look, so we need to go that side of the space station. Uh, head towards the planet for a few seconds and then what we're going to do is we're going to stop we're going to spin around with a bit of luck oh there's the letterbox right now uh, we need to align ourselves a little bit better so we've got to head in that direction by the looks of things so a little bit of speed there and stop and then point at the letterbox and let's just uh, let's just get the center of rotation correct. All right, that's not a million miles away. And then let's just get a little bit closer. Whoops, I reckon we're almost there. And whoops. Yes! <laughs> I docked the ship. Commander Jameson is not a complete lunatic. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> manual docking you remember you could get automatic docking systems and all sorts hey google turn the socket on a right old bit of nostalgia going on this evening excellent well i'm pleased to say that this bbc is doing everything it should do so uh honey monster she's coming back to you i hope you enjoy her thanks all for watching take care have a wonderful wonderful week and weekend give us a good old thumbs up make sure you've subscribed if you haven't already and we'll see you on the next one Cheers and beers, people. Bye for now.